This is the third in a series of videos designed to teach the basics of HTML. If you are new to HTML and have not watched the first two videos in this series, then you might want to go back and watch them before watching this video. This video will show how the default behavior of tags can be changed. I'll also be describing the document type definition. We'll start by going to littlewebhut.com. And then on the home page, press the HTML tab. And on the quick reference here, you can just click on the H3 tag. And now, let's start by clicking the Test It XHTML button. That'll take us down to the portion of the website where we can test our HTML code. And what I'm going to do is show you how you can change the default behavior of this tag. And we do that by adding an attribute. So after the H3, I'm going to press space. And the attribute that I'm going to add is for alignment. And so I'm going to type align and then equals and then some quotes, and in the quotes, I'm going to type a value, and I'm going to use the value of right. And here, a line is called the attribute, and right is called the value. And a couple of things to notice is that the H3 needs to be followed by a space, and then you put the attribute here, which in this case is a line, and then you immediately follow it by an equal sign, and then the value is enclosed in quote marks and the value is also in lower case. And then all of this, the tag name, the attribute, and the value are all enclosed in the angle brackets here. So now let's press the test button. And here you can see that now the H3 heading is aligned to the right side of the screen. Let's go back up and change the align value to center. And let's test it again. And now you can see that the H3 heading is centered. There are two reasons that I chose to demonstrate the align attribute. The first is that it is easy to see the effect that it has when displayed in a browser. The second reason is that it gives me the opportunity to talk about depreciated attributes. The align attribute is a depreciated attribute when used with the heading tag. A depreciated attribute is an attribute that has become outdated and may become obsolete in future versions of web browsers. While it is not certain that future web browsers will stop supporting them, it's worth taking it into consideration when you're designing a web page. Now a question that you might have is, if this attribute is depreciated, then what can I use instead? The answer is cascading style sheets are commonly called CSS. Not only can CSS replace depreciated attributes, but CSS also has some advantages that the depreciated attributes cannot offer. I highly recommend that you take the time to learn about CSS. A second question that you might have is, how can I determine if an attribute is depreciated? To determine if an attribute is depreciated, you can go to the Attribute Summary section of the web page. This table shows the attributes that are available for the H3 tag. Here you can see a line, ID, class, style, title, and numerous other attributes that are available. The attributes that are displayed in red have been depreciated. Here you can see a note that says that the red attributes have been depreciated. Below, you can find additional information about this attribute. For instance, you can see that the align attribute can use values of center, justify, left, and right. Now let's talk about the document type definition, or DTD. This topic may be a bit confusing, but stick with me, and at the end, I'll show you how to simplify the whole thing. A DTD is a document that defines the rules for elements and attributes. 
we can declare what flavor of HTML that we are using by referencing a DTD. This is how we can declare whether we are using HTML or XHTML. This is how we can also declare whether we intend to use depreciated elements or attributes. This declaration is placed at the top of the HTML document before the HTML tag. You can see an example of it here. This declaration tells the web browser what to expect. Here you can see that we are planning on using XHTML version 1.0. Transitional means that we may be using depreciated attributes. For XHTML, we also add an additional XML NS attribute. And you can see that right here. Now let's scroll back up to the top of the page and click on the test it HTML style. Here you can see that we are planning on using HTML instead of XHTML and we are planning on using HTML version 4.01 and again transitional means that we may be using depreciated elements and attributes. Now let's go up to the top of the page and in the left menu click on the DTD info link. Here you can find more information about DTDs. You can see that there's three types, strict, transitional, and frame set. And there's examples for both HTML and XHTML. In order to simplify the whole subject, just scroll down to the template section. Here you will find templates for HTML and XHTML. If, for instance, you want to use XHTML, just copy this XHTML template and paste it into your HTML document. So let me go back to the H3 tag and just scroll down to the tester here and let me delete all of this and I'm going to paste the template in. And now with this template as a starting point you can just come up here and change the title. Uh, I'll just call this test and then you can start adding HTML code in between the opening body tag and the closing body tag. So for instance, I will just add a sentence and we can press the test button to test that. Well that concludes this video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and leave a comment.